Hello fellow YouTubers and collectors, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Super Mario Bros. Movie Wave 2 Mini World Donkey Kong Stadium playset. Here we have the Donkey Kong figure, I apologize for getting this video out so late, my original one was scratched. Scratched when trying to take it out to review it, I should have just um, waited to unbox everything. But For the packaging, we got a nice Coliseum there, really cool gladiator fight style. Uh, we got DK right there. You can also get the other ones available down here. We got really nice backdrop right there or on the sides detail. So everyone, here's the Donkey Kong playset all assembled and out of the packaging looking fantastic. You can see here I added the little Cat Mario sold separately in the Wave 2 little mini world packs. You can find these all at Target where I found mine. Really cool. Starting off, here's a quick little look at DK. Looking fantastic. I try to pick the best painted ones. Some of the packagings were just smashed. And you can see here rotates head, but his paint's very fragile because mine got scratched off just from the plastic of the packaging window. And yeah, really cool. You got to take care of these. He rotates at the arms, has like these grippers, which is pretty cool. I guess it could grip onto the little rails. His legs don't articulate. Um, his tie a little bit moves. It's just molded there. It's softer plastic, so it's going to stay there. His head rotates as well. Pretty cool. I really like it. So here's DK and Bowser scaled right next to each other. Pretty cool. You can see Bowser's a little bit taller, which is accurate. And yeah, they're both pretty cool. So everyone, for the playset, you can change the little rails around. You can just stick them anywhere, but just make sure they have the right slots. For example, we can switch them up a bit. All these parts are accessible. And you can place them almost anywhere. So yeah, to make a really cool scenery. Custom just for a game if you want to have time with your friends or play around and whatnot. Really great. And you can also attach these little pieces right here. However, make sure to slide them in the little slots as you can see right there. Oh, we got that. We're going to put this one right here. We got a box one. I believe these were actually in the film, which is pretty cool. They paid attention to the small details. When you're done with the playset, you can simply remove all the parts, fold that up, remove all the blocks and all the accessories that are a part of it. Just be careful with this little cutout here and fold it, tab it in, and voila, it's a pretty cool playset. And we can also see a lot of the Kongs right there. They're just printed um they're just printed on which is pretty cool you can add some barrels right there too you can even remove the power-up items and change them around however there's only a few slots for them so yeah you're kind of limited and for storage you can just simply store all of your items in there for as many as you can get in there i don't know if this was meant to be this way but hey it works for me you can see all the items in there overall i think this made a great little playset, and it's great collectible playset and it's really fun and unique and yeah i really appreciate jacks for making it 20 bucks it's a great price point so pick it up while you still can this was jonathan donna yt tuning out uh if you like the content show and likes always appreciate it and i'll be doing more videos soon on this channel